What's up guys, Danny B here. We got a new box at the door today. We're gonna open this up and find out what's new inside. New DJ equipment unboxing. It's a pretty big box. It's got a little bit of weight to it. We're gonna find out what's inside. Stay tuned. All right guys, here it is. We're doing an unboxing of some new gear that we got on the doorstep today. I'm pretty sure you can tell what's in the box by the title of the YouTube video, but I want to show you why I'm adding this to my staff. How do you like my sweater? Everybody's been calling me Mr. Rogers at work. It's 40 degrees here in Houston, Texas, so. There it is, guys. Freedom H1. Now these uh, came out, I think earlier this year. Uh, I've been trying to get into cake light, or cake spotlighting, wedding cake spotlighting, if you will. A lot of people have been asking me uh, if I do it. I haven't offered it as a service, I just never thought about buying spotlights. But a lot of people are willing to pay for this service, so. I went with the Chave Freedom H1s because I can't even get this out of here. I went with the Freedom H1s because I already have the Chave Freedom Par Quad 4s, the truly battery powered wireless uplighting for all around the room. You guys may have seen my YouTube video where I uplit my storage place. I didn't I didn't have any other huge place to uplight at the moment. But uh, there's several other videos. I'll put a link down to another one of my videos where I do uplighting at a wedding venue. So this works with the Flarecon Air. It also comes with a remote control and it's totally compatible with the Freedom Par series. So that's why I wanted it to match. I wanted it to look the same. I was really impressed with this case that it came in. This is pretty nice. There it is, the Freedom H1. So we're gonna take a look at what's inside of this. Pretty durable case. Chave makes some pretty good cases. Uh, I also have the Chave Gig Bar IRC. Um, that thing has lasted me a while. Take a look at this, wow. So it's kinda got the foam insert. There goes the book and the manual and everything. Wow, this is pretty nice. I'm gonna readjust this camera so you guys can see exactly what's in here. All right guys, so here we are. We're back with the case. Moved it over here to a little table so we can see it better. So take a look at this. It's really durable, sturdy foam. You got your manual that came in here, Freedom Par, Freedom H1 series. Right off the bat, it tells you right here, do not charge fixtures with the lid closed. I guess it needs kind of an exhaust. Got your standard Chave. I got like a ton of these. When I ordered my Freedom Par Series up lights, it came with one remote control for every light. So I've got a ton of those. Check this out. I went with the white series. I think white just spells wedding more than anything. My Freedom Par Series are all black. They didn't have white at the time that I ordered them, but look at this. This is great. It looks just like my Freedom Par Quad 4s, but just a mini. In comparison, look at my hand, and this is totally portable. So every one of them has a DC plug plug-in. Now, what I thought is, and I'm totally new to this, I just got these, so. Oh, here we go. Perfect. So look at this, one, two, three, four. There's four in a case. So basically what you're gonna do is plug your power cord into this power box. These leads come off of here and you can plug them all in. They sit perfectly where the DC inlet right here is facing up so they can all be charged at the same time.
What a perfect transport case. Now I'm gonna read you some specs on this, and I'm also gonna put a link down below, but just so you can kind of get an idea, it's 100% true wireless battery operated LED wash with a built-in DeFi transceiver. So this, this little system here includes these four fixtures, four diffusers, which I think are already, yeah, look at that. The diffuser's already on there, which, man, I could see myself losing this thing. So it looks like that's magnetic. It just attaches simple like that, look at that. Uh, multiple control options including standalone, wireless, DMX, or good old IR. Digital display on each one of these for easy control and adjusting all the settings. It's also got the magnetic base right there. This one's kind of loose already. A magnetic base so this can be attached to drop ceilings. Um, a lot of venues that we do, especially the venue Diamichi that we do in Seabrook, they have drop ceilings with the cross metal, whatever you call them. These would stick up perfectly on there. I'm gonna power one on just to see if it comes on. I don't know if there's actually any battery life. There actually is. So, okay. Obviously I need to play around with them and mess with them some more. There's. So, just like the Freedom Series, there's two bars left there, so maybe about 50%. Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm guessing four bars would be 100. So maybe about 50% left battery on here. And this is just like the Series, so 12 channel. Look at this. I don't know if you can really, if it's really showing up on the camera. It looks like it is, but that looks great. I want to take this gel off just to see what the difference is. Oh wow. So it kind of puts it, I'm trying to see the big difference here. It kind of makes it more smoother around the edges. I noticed without the gel, it looked a little more rugged around the edges. I'll probably keep the gel on it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spot like, spot like wedding cakes. And just to let you know, some of these venues that we do, um, the ceilings are very high. They're probably about 30 feet high, so it's not recommended that you use these at that distance, just because it's gonna wash out everything. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm having a guy build me a kind of a pipe and drape stand with two four foot sections threaded to thread into each other and I'm gonna put uh, like a black material almost like a scrim over that and that way I can put this at the top of that base and I'm probably gonna end up securing it with a with a uh, what do you call it with a security cord or whatever they come with and uh, this way it doesn't fall in the event that somebody hits it it shakes it and it falls so this is gonna be a great addition to our gear right here. I can tell you right now. Um, I'm gonna read a few more specs of this just so you can get, kind of get an idea. Um, six, eight, and 12 channels, one LED per fixture, hex, co hex color, RGBAW plus UV. Each one is 10 watts, 50,000 hours life expectancy. Uh, it also has a strobe rate on it, zero to 25 hertz a beam angle of 21 degrees and a field angle of 32 which is probably that rugged one that we got uh, earlier. Uh, the input voltage is 8.4 volts DC. Uh, external power supply 100 to 240 volts AC and 1.4 pounds. So these things are super light. Um, maximum runtime with them all on with the light fully on up to 8 hours. Maximum runtime uh, with one single color is 20 hours. So for a wedding spotlight, a wedding cake spotlight, I'm gonna get, no wedding ever lasts 20 hours, so I'm gonna get more than enough time out of this thing. So it's got the bracket mount. You know what, I didn't check. So I think the scissor mount for drop ceilings is an optional accessory, it doesn't come with it, which in my opinion, Chave, I really think that the scissor mount should come with it just because 
these are mainly meant for drop ceilings. Uh, so what's included is four of the Freedom H four four of the Freedom H ones, four diffusers already built into the H ones, the multi charger, the IRC six, and this awesome carry bag. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to the description down below so you can read about these. Uh, and we're doing a gig Friday and Saturday. We're doing a wedding Friday at Diamici. We're doing a wedding Saturday at the Space HTX out there with Shauna. Shout out to Shauna. Um, and I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use them Saturday. I didn't charge the customer Friday for these, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and experiment with it just so I know what I'm doing Saturday. Diamici has a great drop ceiling, so it'll be it'll come in perfect for that. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, there's not a lot more to read about this but I'm gonna put the info straight to Chavez website just so you could check it out um, I wish I could do a demo now but I'm gonna charge these things I'm gonna play with them see how easy it is to understand these things if they're as easy as the Freedom Park quad fours that I have and uh, stay tuned because Friday and Saturday we're gonna use these things and I'm gonna include these in the gig log so if you have any questions leave them down below uh, other than that, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Alright guys, so I lied. The video is not over yet. We messed around with the remote. It should be the same as every other remote. And... Check that out. We mounted it up there on the little metal part of a light here in my house. So with the remote, check that out. Things are super bright. It's kind of a down light. And so with the remote, change colors. How awesome is that? Go to white if they just want the, the wedding cake spotlighted as white. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this magnet is super strong. So it's actually pulling on the light fixture. I'm glad that thing didn't come down. So, that's the magnetic base. But I got a feeling these things are gonna be awesome. Sorry about that, but I wanted you to see how bright it is. I think that light kind of threw it out of focus. There it goes. Anyways, that's what you get with the package. So, see you on the next video.